we want to welcome you to a what's going to be a powerful afternoon uh, of conversation. And more importantly, we want to engage you in something beyond today. It breaks people. Like if it breaks grown men, imagine what you would do to a kid. What keeps you going? How do you how do you show up? Since I was 16, man, I looked out that small window, whether it was vertical or horizontal, man, and just daydream about everything that I have now. Art is a therapeutic process. How do we start to use our story to better ourselves, you know, and um, get above our trauma? There should be an array of what police officers look like and what they're trained in. Now let's put ourselves out there and let people know um, that we're we're a welcoming job. We're still here to help people. The last resort is putting handcuffs on, on a youth, period. You know, just keep advocating, you know, like, to bring about some type of meaningful change. So we want to thank everybody who has submitted questions. Greg asks, how have you seen art affect purpose development in Black youth? Yes, they got the team, but that does not take away they, they adolescence and they innocence. Why do you want to know about me? Like, why all of a sudden, like I've been living all this time and now my story matters. And I couldn't help but interpret that to mean what you're calling resources is policing. I, I, I saw some officers really, you know, have the light bulb and aha moments like, oh, I never thought about this. That does not take away how they should still be developing as a child and not be treated as an adult, because they are still children at the end of the day. I have to get educated, like right? people have to just see, right? they have to see what's going on to be able to change what's going on.